What's up hobby friends and welcome to my vlog video for the month of December covering what I painted in the previous month of November and what my plans are for the rest of 2020. I'm trying to try and keep this video short and sweet mainly because I'm going to be recording a retrospective that I'll release at the end of the year and that'll look at everything I painted entirely in 2022 and then I think in that video I'll talk more about what my goal or why I had my goal for no unpainted models by the end of the year and break down, I guess, where I fell short, why I think I fell short, and then briefly talk about what I have left for 2023 and what my plans are for the following year. So let's dive on in. I'll talk about what I painted this past month, what I plan to paint for the next month, and then briefly talk about my content creation for the rest of the year. So when it actually comes to what I got painted in the month of November, when I was pulling the models out, it didn't feel like a lot, but when you actually um, think about it, or when I actually started to, to drill down into how much time I actually spent on each of these individual pieces, especially when we get to um, Malekith back here, Angela right here, as well as the Centurion, it was still a fair bit of time. If you're averaging four, maybe five hours of painting um, every night, Angela was probably about three, three or four evenings. The Centurion was probably another three or four. Malekith was probably closer to a week. I ended up spending, I think, something like 14 or 15 hours on him. So because I wasn't grinding through a lot of Blood Angels or just like army stuff, like Games Workshop army stuff, um, the model count while lower, the overall quality is much higher. And I think looking back on it, I'm pretty happy with how productive and sort of what I got done in terms of quality and quantity for the month of November. Of course, I did actually lose quite a number of evenings to the Dark Tide beta slash pre-order gameplay slash early access. I mean, tangent, the game is still incomplete. It's buggy as fuck right now. And there's a lot of content missing that was promised, but I was still enjoying a lot of it. And I ended up losing quite a number of evenings leveling up first the Ogre and then my veteran. So not as productive as it could have been, but I think it was also good for my own mental health and my own sanity to be able to take a break from painting. A lot of my focus for this month was basically wrapping up the models I have for my A-Force. So we're looking at um, Angela, Domino, Crystal, Scarlet Witch, and Enchantress. And then Moon Knight, just to finish up my Web Warriors, I had the conversion made quite a few months ago. I think when the box first came out, I picked it up and made the conversion, but it kind of got bumped continually to the back burner just because I wasn't happy with the overall quality of the sculpt, or at least my sculpting quality is, is kind of subpar. I think I hid most of it in the painting, but if you actually look at it close up, there's still quite a number of imperfections and errors that I'm not happy with. So, I mean, it's done. My web warriors are now complete until another round of models will come off the metallic mass whenever that does happen. And then Malekith and Lizard were for my client. So um, Lizard is the first of his spider foes that I'll be working on. And then Malekith, I think, was just a great centerpiece and he wants it for his cabal. Of course, I have my Centurion, which is the model I painted for Patreon as well as for the local show. I think I ranted about it in the Patreon video, but basically, not a huge fan of the sculpt. I think I ended up enjoying painting the shield and that was pretty much it. I think the red was fun, the rest of it, not so much. And this is pretty much my project plan or what I've got lined up on the painting table for the rest of the year, all of December. So I've got the rest of the spider foes for my clients. I've got Dr. Octopus from the Rivals Kit, Craven, Mysterio, and then of course the leader Green Goblin. Those are all going to be just studio paint jobs. And then I've got my Sentinels in the back. So I've got the Mark IV Prime and the two Mark IVs. Still quite a bit of gap filling on them, so I'm not quite ready to paint them yet. So I'm probably going to knock out a couple of these spider foes, gap fill when I'm feeling a little bored. And then hopefully once I've got them done in about a week or two, I'll just spend the rest of the year working on the Sentinels. I'm going to be doing them pretty much like the Hulkbuster I did, pure non mono model. I'm not quite sure how reflective I want the armor to be yet. So that may impact the overall time spent, but I am expecting each of them to take upwards between 30 to 50 hours, um, probably higher on the prime and lower on the, the regular Sentinels. 
My initial impression of them, they're not quite as detailed as the Hulkbuster, just in terms of a lot of the ribbing and the jointing. And then even on the armor itself, I think these guys, they feel a lot simpler. I'll know a little bit more, I'll have a better sense once I start painting them. They're not, probably not going to be as complicated. However, they are bigger surface areas, which does mean I have to work a lot more on my blending and my reflections. I am looking forward to working on them, but I know that they're probably going to take the rest of the year. I'm allocating at least three weeks of them. And then between that, doing my video content recording and just making sure that I take time for the holidays and I'm not painting nonstop for the rest of the month. I think this is a good place to pretty much wrap up my 2022 year. I want to make sure that I'm giving myself enough time in December to paint what I um, want to prioritize for the rest of the year in terms of commissions, finishing off the last of the spider foes for my client, as well as finishing off at least one more affiliation. So this will be the Sentinels for my own collection. Now, I still have a number of models, and I'll talk more about this at the end of the year. I'll dive through each of them individually, but... There's a bunch of X-Force, I've got Cable, I've got, um, I don't think I have Deadpool. I've got a bunch of humans, so um, I have Blackagar Boltagon, Black Bolt, I don't know his name. Um, Lockjaw, uh, Quicksilver, things like that. Just odds and assortments of these dual kits where I wanted one character but not the other. They're a little, very low priority in my painting list, and so I didn't get to them, I didn't prioritize them, and I'm not prioritizing them for the rest of the year. So, there it is. In terms of the content creation that I have planned for YouTube, so I'll have the vlog video. I'm gonna have a tutorial on painting Angela. There's Enchantress. And then I'm debating about whether I want to release the retrospective in the second last week of December and then taking that um, last week off right before New Year's and not having the fifth video for the month. Or depending on how the recording for the Sentinels go, maybe I'll record a separate quick video covering just the paint recipes to go on YouTube. And then what I have planned for Patreon is actually a deep dive into how I painted the Sentinels or how I will paint the Sentinels since I haven't actually painted them yet. It's going to be very similar to, I think, the Hulkbuster insofar as I'll have a shortage segment covering the actual painting technique, the recipes. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the actual non meta model approach and then I'll probably try and record a very lengthy sort of retrospective where I break down the actual working through placement of lights, shadows, and reflections, as well as working through how to incorporate the battle damage into the non meta model and how we go about painting a large piece, breaking it down into smaller components, and then looking at maintaining that discipline and that motivation to work through what is essentially a large scale non meta model figure. So those are my content creation plans for the month of December. And then at the end of the year, I'll wrap it up, look at everything I've painted in the year of 2020 and what I've got planned for 2023. So that about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's able to keep it nice and sweet. If you like the video, make sure that you give the like, subscribe for awesome weekly content. And if you want to follow my other social media platforms, I'll make sure to have links in the video description below. As always, until next time, happy hobbying.